I hope we're going on the right road. Really kind of get a funny feeling when the GPS tells me where to go. And it's some back road. As it turns out, we had the right road and took us right to the spot for camping. And then we're gonna go on the trail to this lava tube. That's right, come along with us. So this is what we're after, it's a lava cave. A lava river cave. It's a virtual geocache. We just have to take our picture. But first we have to get there and it's about a mile. Hmm, yeah, should be okay. That was a lot quicker to get to the cave entrances. I thought it was gonna be. I thought we'd be out there for like a half an hour, but it only took about five minutes. And Lyric Glass is now reading the sign because there's also an earth cache here, which we'll get. But this video is basically about the virtual that I want and we'll explain why, because it's, well, we think it's pretty exciting. We hope you do too. And uh, you've seen us like, talk about the reasons why before. Is there ice in there? Oh yeah, look at that. Holy cow. Or, holy doodle. I got my headlamp on, so I can see where I'm going. I hope. Oh, look at that. That's cool. It's uh, kind of hard to show anything without the flashlight. But if you've been watching us for a while, you know, it's all about the statistics with us, for the most part. And we're trying this one because of the rating for this one. It's a virtual geocache, and we have to get to the end of the cave. So we just met a, a young man from Idaho who has uh, watched our videos and he's been taking a cue from us and targeting earth caches and fizzies to try to fill the fizzy grid for those cache types. Whoa. That's not too bad. Not only do you have to watch your feet as you're going, you also have to watch your head. As I don't know if you heard, my backpack just scraped the ceiling. Ow! <laughs> yeah, you just hit my head. <laughs> There's a bend right here, and they said this was the halfway mark. Halfway mark? Yep. Really? Yeah. Oh, jeez. What I thought was the end wasn't. It was just a bend in the tunnel, and we still have a lot of ways to go. Hey. Well, we made it to the very end and we had help getting our picture, thank goodness. Because <laughs> it would have been a challenge, I think, trying to light everything really nicely. It's great when there's lots of other flashlights in the distance to, to be seen. 
and what a challenge to get here. But this is a really cool geocache it's to come to. It's worth the trip. Yeah, the rating was what we're after because we don't have what this rating. What is the rating of this virtual? Does anybody know? I was going to look it up. Well, we made it. We made it back alive. <laughs> and that, for clarification, was a two, four, regular virtual. virtual. And it had a size. Virtuals yeah, don't usually, not usually have a size. I would have put it as a large. <laughs> <laughs> that was three quarters of a mile. It was, it was a bit slow going because it's very rough terrain. It was slow going because she was with me. You had to pick your feet up. Yeah, she had to pick my feet up. And then sometimes you had to crouch really low. Oh, I hated that part. <laughs> it was really cool seeing all the other people coming along and mm -hmm. it's, it's worth the experience. It was a little distressing when we thought the last person passed us and <laughs> there was nobody else, but we were really glad to see people come in. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Thanks for joining us on this virtual day. geocaching fizzy grid finding adventure. Keep watching, there's more caches to be found. Where will geocaching take, take you?